Hello friends and uh, welcome back to Picture Astrology. Today in the series of uh, planets through various ascendant and signs, we will look at how Jupiter functions in the Scorpio sign for Taurus ascendant. So when we have a Taurus ascendant horoscope, that means Taurus is the sign in the first house. The Sign number two is the Taurus. And for Taurus ascendant, Jupiter becomes the Lord of 8th and 11th house. Because we know that Jupiter rules Sagittarius, which is the ninth sign, and Pisces, which is the last or 12th sign. And these two signs fall on the 8th and 11th house respectively for the Taurus ascendant horoscope. So, before we analyze the effects of this placement, let's just mark out all the areas of life this position will impact. So, first of all, because of Jupiter being Lord of the 8th and 11th house, these two areas of life will be affected. Now, we are considering this scenario where Jupiter is posited in the 7th house, which is in the sign of Scorpio. So definitely the seventh house itself will be impacted. We also know that Jupiter has aspects. It aspects certain houses from the position it is placed in. Specifically Jupiter's aspects are on the fifth from itself. So it's actually going to aspect 11th house. The seventh aspect will be aspecting the ascendant itself. In the ninth aspect, we'll be aspecting the third house. So it will, now let's mark out these areas. So we see just as one placement of Jupiter is actually going to impact a lot of areas of the horoscope. And needless to say that Jupiter being the significator or karaka of kids, of children, fifth house will be impacted also. So, and there are many, you know, uh, Jupiter is also the uh, karka of your profession or work life. So, 10th house will be impacted and so on. So, these uh, placements, you know, one placement of Jupiter can affect n number of items in your horoscope. So, what we'll do, uh, you know, in this video, we will concentrate on few key areas among all the marked out areas. And, uh, you know, because if we try to talk in details about each nitty-gritty then it will take a lot of time. So with that understanding let's first see how Jupiter behaves for the Taurus ascendant. So when you have the ascendant as Taurus the Lagna Lord or the ascendant Lord is Venus. So the Lord of Lagna is the planet Venus and Venus and Jupiter are though both the one of the most benefit planets they don't go along well. So you, you know Jupiter is considered the uh, the guru of Devas uh, whereas the Venus is considered the, the guru or the master of Asuras or the, the evil guys. So, you know, though they are both learned, they both are highly intellectual, they both, you know, are uh, super smart teachers, but they don't uh, go along well with each other. So, and also Jupiter, though being a highly benefic, naturally it is the most benefic planet. So I will say, you know, the if you see, just see the Jupiter, it is a highly benefic planet. But for Taurus Ascendant, it is the Lord of 8th and 11th. And both of these houses are considered malefic houses. 11th house Lord or 11th house is the house of gains. However, the Lord of 11th can cause a lot of diseases because it is 6th from 6th. So being the Lordship of 11th and also the Lordship of 8th, makes Jupiter a functional malefic. 
So you see, there is a big dichotomy in this situation. Jupiter naturally is a great planet, but for the ascendant of Taurus, it becomes a highly malefic. It is actually a number one malefic for Taurus ascendant. So how do we combine these two completely different ideas and give effects on this horoscope? So let's see. First, let's analyze the seventh house. Seventh house, uh, the first thing which comes into mind is marriage. So how is this Jupiter for marriage life? Now, generally, when Jupiter is placed in the seventh house, it is considered to be a sure short sign of a happy married life. However, we cannot say this in this case. You know, we because the lordship of 8th and 11th, Jupiter first of all will give a late marriage. That is almost 99% sure in this combination. Because Jupiter is an old planet, just like Saturn. Jupiter is the second most slowest planet in the horoscope after Saturn. So, and it is also a malefic in this, a functional malefic in this horoscope. So, anyways, the worst or the, the best which Jupiter would do is give a late marriage or a delayed marriage. And, uh, other areas you know how successful the marriage life will be or you know how difficult it will be will be dependent on the position of the eighth lord which is mars and venus and the navamsa chart the d9 chart just because this jupiter is placed here is actually no guarantee of a highly successful marriage it, this Jupiter can also cause more than one marriage for various reasons. Reason could be very, very different. But because of this functional malefic, otherwise if the Jupiter is benefic and is associated with 7th house, you know, you can say with surety that it will be a wonderful marriage life. Now, this combination can also give an amazing married life given that Mars, Venus and D9 are well placed. However, apart from marriage, this position in the 7th house is great for business because 7th house is also the house of business partnership. And consider this, the Jupiter placed here is Lord of 11th, which is the house of gains and it aspects the house of gains also. So these people, they do very well in partnerships in business and they gain a lot also you see jupiter is the lord of eighth house eighth house is others money other people's money so they do get benefit from others money you know they can do business from other people's money and gain a lot of profit you see this is because it is the lord of eighth placed in the seventh aspecting 11th in the Lagnesh or Lagna itself. So the gain, they can gain from others people money. They can make money out of it. They can enjoy that money for themselves because of this combination. So many people who are involved in, you know, in businesses where they, you have to collect money from multiple people and then invest in an area uh, or uh, some kind of a networking business. I have found this combination in such people horoscope many times. Also, 8th is the house of occult. This house, 8th house, shows your occult or hidden tendencies. It is also the house of astrology or any other science, you know, which is not normally known to the world. So people with this combination are good at making money from astrology from spiritual pursuits, from doing, you know, spiritual rituals or many times even selling items which are related to some kind of spiritual rituals. Now in India, I have seen many times people who have shops of, uh, you know, uh, various stones, uh, stones for astrological purposes or stones for some kind of puja or, you know, rituals in Hinduism, they have this combination very much. But remember, 
Jupiter is the lord of eighth, which is a house of sudden changes also. So if the Mars is not well placed, they can have a tendency to get into one partnership, gain some, you know, money out of it and then change the partners. So that can happen many times given the Mars position. This position also is very uh, often found in people who gain money from money. And what I mean by gain, you know, money from money is they get interest or they lend money to somebody and earn interest from it. And how do you say this? See, Jupiter is the Lord of 11th, which is house of gains. It is Lord of 8th, which is other people money. And it is aspecting the third house. Third house is the house of earning from money, earning from interest, earning from lending because it is second from second. Uh, I'll maybe this concept of Bhavad Bhavam I'll uh, explain sometime later. But for now, this is a very common combination for people who often get, you know, uh, money out of lending, money out of interest or even money out of uh, you know, uh, others people wealth or after reinvesting, they reinvest and gain money. So this is very common. And so this position, you know, as far as marriage life is concerned, we cannot say with certainty how it will be because much will depend on Mars, Venus and D9. But as far as business life, your work life and your business life is concerned, this is one of the best position you can find. Now, let's just see. Uh, some other areas of life which could be affected by this position. So I'm removing all of these. Now see Jupiter aspects the first house and first house is the house of self, yourself, your personality, how you come across in the world. So generally these people, they do appear, uh, you know, full of wisdom. People think highly of them because of the Jupiter's aspect. Uh, other people will always respect you. You, your personality will not have a boyish charm. You know, Jupiter is an old planet as we, as I said earlier. So it doesn't make you look very young, but it will make you look magnetic. The personality will be attractive. People will be attracted to you by, because of your knowledge. You will have knowledge in various fields. And you will be respected for this. Your personality will be respected because of the way you carry yourself in the world. Your wife could also be a person full of knowledge because Jupiter is in the seventh house. Your wife could also be from a very rich family or bring in money for you. Or many times because eighth house is others people money, your wife's money and also house of sudden changes. That Lord, a good Lord, a benefic Jupiter aspecting the Lagna, which is the house of personality. Many times after marriage, your business booms very well. Many times after marriage, your personality changes a lot. You know, many folks I have seen, they tell, you know, other people that, oh, you have changed after marriage. You have changed so much after marriage. They have this kind of placement. The sudden transformation and it is a transformation for good. This change is for good. It's not a bad change. You know, you will also do very well in business after marriage. Many times this kind of position ensures that. So as far as personality wise, uh, this position is great. However, it does give you a tendency to accumulate fat. Jupiter is fat. Jupiter is weight, the weight you gain. Jupiter is the gravitational pull. <laughs> so the more the weight, the more the gravity. You plus Jupiter is a malefic planet here because of the Lord of 8th and more importantly because of the Lord of 11th. 11th is also house of diseases. You can get problems, issues, diseases related to fat in the body. You know, uh, especially after marriage and later in life, the fat increases a lot. So you have to be careful about this dosha, which is present. 
so otherwise uh, and uh, it is also you know generally said that jupiter in aspecting the lagna lord um, or lagna rather um, cures the horoscope of thousands of doshas now in such a case when jupiter becomes functional malefic that dictum doesn't hold true or at least it doesn't always hold true you know generally jupiter's aspect on the first house will save you from getting ill but here in this case the most commonly observed thing which we just talked about is getting a lot of issues because of increased weight in fat having a sweet tooth these kind of people they they love to, uh, you know to eat sweet which again causes the fat to increase but these are some minor aspects which you need to sort of take care of uh, when you have this position otherwise this you know generally speaking this is good for brothers this is good for kids um, you know uh, jupiter is the kark of children and uh, from the fifth house it is it is placed in a nice place so generally it is it is a good sign i'm not going to go in deep into all other aspects as i started uh, earlier so but at a high level we talked about marriage we talked about profession we talked about the kind of gains the kind of areas in which you can succeed how will it will be for your personality what are the things to kind of take care of uh, what kind of diseases this can cause so overall i think we have considered a uh, high level all the items um so my dear friends this was my analysis of uh, what i have learned from my gurus about uh, and what i have observed in real life about uh, jupiter in the 7th house for taurus ascendant i hope you like it uh, please uh, do hit the like and subscribe button to receive more such videos until then all of you have a blissful life and see you again soon bye bye